But I've never really been interested in representing things. Photography does that. Much more interested in colour, line, surface, the light, the elements, and, and trying to sort of express that. So I grew up in Essex by the sea, Clacton on Sea actually. The sea has its own elemental force and I grew up with that and that has never left me. Well, when I left school I went into hotel catering event management so if you've got a party that you need organising I'm really good at that. But I did that for 10 years and then actually I was working somewhere where there were artists and there was a printmaker and I just realised that's what I really wanted to have a go at doing. So I left event management and went to art school in London, Central St Martins. And then I left there and went traveling for a couple of years. And actually a lot of my traveling experience is in my work. So when I was in India and Asia, the colors, the light. So I don't really sketch, but I do photograph and I meditate. And so one of the things that I do is I might go out for a walk and I'm then that coming back into the studio space, I might sit for 10 minutes and just see what arises in that meditation. I tend to work, just get something out on the canvas to begin with, and that usually is a colour, just one colour, and then I layer up from there. I try not to plan it, really. I might have a plan. Sometimes I might think, oh yes, I'm going to do this, and then this, and then this. But then when I actually go to the canvas to work, is I try and drop all of that. Being in the experience, what I feel, and then trusting that something comes out on canvas. I never know what that's gonna be. And I like that. I, I like the fact that I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> a lot of the pieces have both happy and melancholy aspects. I did a piece once which was about a, a man called Albert Tattersall, who was one of the men who died in the first day of the Battle of the Somme. Yes, it's melancholy subject, but I wanted to express some beauty as well about that man's life because it was cut so short. It was a requiem, it was called a young man's requiem. Often life has that bittersweet quality so I am trying to bring those sorts of paradoxes together in my work. I've shown my work in galleries and I've been really fortunate to have work in New York and Zurich and various places, London, um, but I really do love showing locally. My favourite is when people come to my house and they come in the space that I'm working in and they somehow tap into something. There is that personal touch when you meet somebody and sometimes people come and they've bought something and they didn't even plan to buy something. They just, they were just moved. And that of course is any artist's um, love really, isn't it? When somebody just immediately responds to the work.